Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to start this series basically. I've started this four times. I can't believe I actually haven't finished it. I always keep wanting to restart it and whatnot. Before I begin, this is not Windows 95 as some of you are going to say. I bet a lot of it's just going to be ironic now, but this is actually Windows 7 Classic theme. The reason I use this is because my computer is slow. Alright, it's not that bad, but it'll make OBS faster, so this isn't as choppy. Uh, but anyways, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the model in the description, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install it in Roblox Studio. Make sure you're in Studio. And how to get... Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, so then what you're going to want to do is go up here and click the new place well you're going to be right here probably i'm on my alt by the way uh cuz i got banned but okay i'm getting ahead of myself um click this right there and you'll get to the new place and this is where we're going to be testing our rpg or you could uh actually go create a new place develop go to develop and actually to get roblox studio uh the link will probably be in the description anyways but all you have to do is go here and download. Uh, it probably will come with uh, your... It'll probably come with Roblox Player anyways, but if you don't get it... Yeah, you might have to manually install it. Make sure you have it up to date. Well, actually, it'll auto-update, so you don't really need to do that. But, yeah, so this tutorial might need to be updated again. Because there's going to be changes to the kit. Like, people are already saying it doesn't work. It's been over a year now. I actually kind of doubt I'm going to continue this. I don't know. Who knows? There's going to be like 10 series. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I want this to be concise. Alright, so what we're going to need to do is you need to go to plugins and then click RPG Kit Installer. Uh, hopefully you have this bar at the top. By the way, I'm pretty sure you will, so you won't need to worry. So all you have to do is click this and click download you have to take the 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 kit you have to actually take the kit and have it in your models or else this won't work and now you'll start out with the default kit this is which is this is what we're going we're going to be working off of uh i have some models i made for this kit that will make it a lot better and the models will be in the description below if you guys want to take them and i would highly suggest you do uh, and I'll actually show you how to set them up. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to make this all in one video. Because I'm really lazy. And I like to never make videos. I don't know. This probably is actually kind of laggy for you guys. Uh, hope it's not that bad. Yeah, I can already see it kind of being choppy. Uh, but anyways, to get those windows open, what you have to do is... Alright, so click the Explorer. It might be like this. Or, I don't know, might be around the screen, so you're going to have to kind of, yeah, move it to the side. I'm assuming you're using Windows. Uh, it might be a different process for different OSs, but as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much the same. Uh, so, yeah, we have our basic stuff here. Personally, I don't like using the shop buttons. I'd rather just use my free model shops because I'm really lazy. Uh, so, yeah. This is the instruction manual. If you don't want to follow this tutorial, uh, you can actually just use that. It should help enough. Um, but if you actually need the tutorial, then I guess you could use it. I'm pretty sure that you can figure out a lot of it on your own after you f find out how to install it and stuff. But yeah, so we don't need this script. Uh, some of the scripts will be in the description below. Put on clothes. Uh, again, I don't think we need this. And this is with change log, so I'm currently using 14.2. There's some previous versions earlier on. So there you go. Um, what else is there? Heal pad scripts. Yeah, we're, we're not really going to use this healing pond. You can use it if you want, but yeah, I'm not going to be using it. I pretty much never use it. Um, so the shop buttons, I'm not going to be using that either. We don't need that model. Uh, game properties. I'm going to be going over that later. Quest system. I don't think we're going to be... Yeah, we're not going to be using the quest system. I don't even know how to use it, honestly. So, 
yeah. I mean, it's probably not that hard. I've tried it before. I just, I don't really like it. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, this is level door. We're going to be using my level door, actually. So, yeah, that leaves us down to the mob. And we're going to still be using my script. Because, you know, I have to put my name on everything, apparently. So, anyways, let me go to Toolbox. And, I mean, I guess you can keep it on the other side. I don't know. Personally, I like things having... Well, I kind of like this being on that side. Well, whatever. You guys can configure it how you want. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, let's put this in the same window. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm kind of wasting time right now. So, yes. Uh, we have a lot of stats here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my models. Make sure you take the models in the description. Personally, I don't actually think I have them all taken, but that's all right, I guess. Uh, so we have the bait. We have the 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 uh, upgraded love lore. We're not going to be using that quite yet, but we at least have it. So that's good enough, I suppose. Uh, we have the shops. This is version two of the shops. I might upgrade them. I kind of doubt it. I'm really lazy, so don't expect me to really do stuff. I'm sorry. I don't want to do anything, okay? And, so yeah, we're just going to place this right there. You guys can edit the shops. I'm not saying you can't edit them. I'll sh I'll just show you how. I try to make it simple. And the level door, well, level door is a different story. I actually kind of went too far with it. There's, like, literally, like, I don't know, like, 12 things, 13, I don't know, too lazy to count. Uh, probably 12. Oh, shit. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, you guys are going to probably want to know how to build. Because, honestly, I don't think you're going to want to have a plain base plate. So, it's probably not going to look that quality, but who cares, honestly. This is going to be your first game. What do you expect? Well, probably. Unless you guys have, like, knowledge and stuff before this video. Which some of you probably do. <clears throat> Alright. Well... I just gotta do my thing. I like it when it's 128, 128, and 0, 0, 0. Uh, might go through through something, yeah. Whatever, I know I'm kind of wasting time here. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's move this door. Alright, so basically, to do, to create new parts, which this, this shouldn't be too hard, honestly, I don't, I don't think it's going to be too hard for you. By the way, to uh, move things, you select move. Uh, that does that. Scale. Well, you can't. I, that's a bad example. But if I did alt, hold alt, and then press that. Yeah. That's like the invisible wall, by the way. Oh, no, that's actually the shop button. So when you collide with that, yeah, you'll go into the shop. Uh, so I'm going to try to actually make this all in very few tutorials so let's get into this um basically i'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller actually i don't know what it, what i should do really to be honest i just realized i had this at one fifth stud i hate it when i do that uh sh i'm sort of a perfectionist when it comes to building so that's why this stuff really bothers me sometimes all right and Gotta just move this. Alright, you, you can ignore this part if you want. I'm sorry, I'm being kind of annoying right now. Uh, I'll tell you where to skip. I'll, I hopefully will have that in the description if I'm not being too lazy again. I'm always lazy. What do you expect? Anyways. Alright, let's move this. And make sure you have don't have this selected. unless Because then you wouldn't be able to go through there. And it's a lot easier if you... um. Uh, if you have the this, yeah, if you have that deselected. Sorry, I'm not really making that much sense. Uh, so I'm just going through preferences right now. Again, you can skip. Uh, so I'm just showing you how to make walls. Uh, press Control C and then Control V. And by the way, that'll copy the part. Or you could just press Control D, which duplicates it. But I'd suggest you have this collisions thing disabled, so that'll be easier. And I'm just adding walls because, I don't know. But I hope this at least gives you basic building skills. 
And make sure to have the scale thing selected, by the way. I need to really explain things slower. Alright. I expect too much knowledge out of everybody. Then again, I mean, a lot of you guys probably know this stuff a lot. Not everybody. Uh, so, let's move that right there. There, there we go. We have the walls and... Ah, uh, screw it. You know what? I'm just going to make the door bigger. Yeah. There we go. Boom. That's not too bad, actually. And now we're just stuck with the mob. So, this isn't too bad. Just one last thing, okay? I promise. <laughs> and now we're going to need to make a spawn. So, actually, I forgot to open advanced objects. You guys should have that open, too. It's very helpful. Uh, well, actually, no. You can you can just do this, but I rarely do this. So insert object, and you can insert an advanced object. In my case, that will be a where is it? Where is it? Uh, what is what is it called? I'm forgetting stuff. Help! Oh yeah, it's a spawn. There you go. I just spent like ten minutes of your time. What the what the hell is the spawn? Oh, there you go. I finally see it. I'm really stupid. Alright. So. We just put the spawn right here. Who cares where you put it? Just put it somewhere. Uh, I'd suggest you have it anchored. And can collide true. I guess you can make it also make it. If you want it to look better. Just do that and remove the decal. So. Or you can just do control X. That's how you remove parts. Control C. Control V, Control D, or you could just do, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't really know the Mac controls. All I know is Control Q closes stuff. I mean, not Control, uh, whatever you call that. Uh, I forgot it. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid. Sorry. Anyways, let me move that over there. And what we're gonna need to do is, all right, this is not what I want. Uh, we actually need to. I actually haven't taken some of the models yet. Well, that's just convenient. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's XP share. Uh, oh god, XP, what the hell? What the hell is this community anymore? I honestly don't know. Um, Alright, so let's go to... Uh, I need to go to... I actually think I need to go to my profile. Or, no... Yeah, I know. Sorry, this is taking way too long. Should should be able to do this faster, but all right. Yeah. So I'm still on my alt. Don't PM me on here. I'm on my alt. I mean, I guess. So if I ever get banned or something, I'll be on this this account. Yeah. So. What you're going to want to do is inventory. Don't worry. The link to all this will be in the description. You guys can probably do this a lot faster than I will. Alright, so... Oh, jeez. This might take a while to find. Uh, I actually think I need to take this. I really hope this doesn't open things in Opera. That That gets really annoying. Uh, and I did sort of copy this from Dummies, but I I changed it. I think his name is still Dummy. I'm not sure. This is back when I had this stupid name. Yeah, with the f the freaking I I name. Oh God, why did I do that? Yeah, I used to be an idiot. And sorry if you do have an I I name. I don't know. I personally nowadays I dislike them. Okay, I need to find something. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, not. Not this. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need automatic tool save. This is all. This is all just stuff I use because it's really useful for me, in my honest opinion. Uh, the reason you need this stuff is just so the game works better. I'm not trying to self-advertise it. Well, sort of. I guess I'm using this as a means of self-advertisement, but you know, it it is an improvement, I guess. Depends on. Well, I mean, do you do you want it to still use data persistence? I don't personally. I wouldn't want that. Four people thumbs it down. Wow, they're such cyber bullies. 
No. So mean. Holy sh oh my god. I almost have three thousand takes on that. That is really cool actually. Oh yeah. This won't work with the older older versions because they don't have the adamant armor. So yeah. Depends on what version you're using. If you're using fourteen point one, I wouldn't suggest using this script actually, uh, because this works for the newer ver okay whatever yeah i don't think you're gonna have to worry about that because you're probably gonna start from new if you're watching this holy shit how long have i been recording 15 minutes all right i need to pick up the pace here so i'm pretty sure that it's gonna update which models i have i'm not sure if i need to get anything else so first of all we already have the data store auto save so let's use this um yeah, this is when I used to have the stupid name. Again, my name is not that anymore. Uh, name's my channel name. Atricity. Uh, pronounce it however you want. That I pronounce it Atricity. I'm not sure if that's the correct way, but who cares. Alright, so you're going to want to cut that. Because you're not gonna, you're not gonna want the old one called RPG script. Uh, personally, I don't like the day and night script. I'll just remove it. Uh, setting lock. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Uh, and you can name all, rename all these. By the way, I don't care what you do. Uh, we're not there yet. All right. What is this? Automatic tool save. Yeah, you're definitely going to need this. Uh, this is so. This is so you don't have to go through automatically like this is so you don't have to do safe slash it's automatically gonna do it it'll still let you do safe slash uh but yeah it'll automatically save every 120 minutes so i mean <laughs> 120 seconds there we go so yeah that's useful i kind of copied uh the tool persistence script but hey at least i at least i copied it with an edit i don't mind if i don't mind if people copy things if as long as they edit it People who literally just copy things and claim that as their own is that's dumb. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to mess with this later. Top levels. So we basically have the game done. Well, not the game. Well, we 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 can sort of do stuff now. Uh, so let me demonstrate. Oh, all right. Let's hope that this all works. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, yeah. I mean. There we go. Yeah, I like to do that every time I start. And, yeah, so a few things are updated, as you probably noticed, from the original kit. I'm pretty sure there's a few updates since 14. I'm actually not sure if I used 13 or 14 in the other thing. But, yeah, I died because I'm such a noob at this. I'm using noob on ironically. What the hell's wrong with me? All right. Okay, so, basically, what you can do here is, there's the weapon rack and stuff, so you don't have to, uh, you don't have to use these weapons, you can always change the weapons here, but, again, this is not really a part of the RPG tutorial, I guess, I might go over that, but I don't think it's really needed, a lot of this stuff, you, again, you can probably figure it out on your own, and note that this, this, well, obviously, at this point, if you're still watching, you're willing to use free models, but yeah, some of these are made by me, others aren't. Uh, I give credit to those who made it. I'm not gonna say I made everything. That's, that's not, that's a lie. Uh, so yeah. I wonder what, what else I need to get into before I start. Alright, so it's time to start, I guess. Like, I mean, we started 15 minutes, or like, more like 20 minutes. I don't know, too lazy to check. Uh, but yeah, we started a while back, so let's actually get into doing stuff. Anyways. And one more thing, actually, if the kit doesn't set up, or it doesn't work, I'll... Nah, oh my god, I think I need to actually show you how to set up everything. But... Mm, I'm pretty sure it's going to work anyways, but... Just move... Okay. I think I should have actually showed you how to do this earlier. Basically, what you should do is... Move the armors into here. Move the items here. Uh, move all of the... Alright, so... Yeah, basically, just follow the instructions manual. I don't think it's going to be that hard. So, for example, you copy this into 
replicated storage on group. I don't. I really don't think I'm gonna need to baby you through a lot of this. Put, put, copy this. Uh, put that in starter GUI ungroup. And to ungroup, you just go to here. Uh, mob, you just bring that out. Healing pond, you bring it out. Level door, replace it with mine. If you if you want a better level door, with more configuration, because why not? Uh, basically put all this stuff out, uh, so just ungroup this, um, you can delete these if you want, I'd suggest keeping this, if you don't know how to configure it, um, drag this into replicated store, yeah, ungroup that, um, mob, quest system, personally, I just remove it, replicated storage, so put this in replicated storage, ungroup, server script storage, ungroup, starter GUI, ungroup, bring this out, or replace it with mine tools you put it in well you actually put this in replicated storage on group and put and then put the starter pack in starter pack and ungroup that or you can just take the wooden sword and drag it into there so I hope that explained enough and I'll show you I'll try to do this all in one tutorial I really don't want to end up like making one or two or five episodes and never doing anything again because that that will probably really make people mad uh, and honestly I feel kinda bad for doing that but anyways let's remove this we don't need this uh, for most people as long as they actually took the model and they they re you have to restart it if you don't see this or yeah you'll you'll need to also be logged in to the account Okay, I, I really need to maybe make a paste bin with all the information. So yeah, uh, what else is there to go over? All right, so we have the basics done. We have pretty much everything we need to get done at first, at least. All right, so first of all, let's get into this stuff. So if you want to change the HP, go into the human properties. By the way, yeah, I have the properties window. Uh, I really feel like I have to explain literally everything, but then again, I don't know. I'd probably have to... Okay, whatever. So, this is the health and stuff, so you have to change the max health. You should also change the regular health. I, I don't know. I don't think it really matters if you do, but I personally do that. So, let's make, let's make it have, like, 20 health. Uh, these other values, actually, I'm not sure. I never really mess with them. You guys can experiment with them, but I don't think it... I don't think it's a good idea, especially if you guys are new to this. I don't, I don't know. All I know is jump power does stuff. So, anyways, let's name this. Let's name this to noob. All right. So, so we're gonna be fighting a noob. Uh, it's going to give us twenty or twenty XP. Wander radius. This is basically how many studs away it can uh, walk. Or yeah, once it sees something, this is how far away it can go from its original position which its original position is where it is at the start so right here it can go I don't I don't know exactly how long a stud is well actually it's it's as uh what should I use to do? okay hold on let me so one 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 so this is one stud hold on So yeah, this is a stud, basically. And I actually forgot to put this on the ground, but whatever. So it can it can go eight of these. So this is how far away it can go from its place. And this is like around, so let's make it like seventeen or wait, what am I doing? I need to make this nine. Wait, what am I doing? Actually, I, I'm confusing myself. What the hell? Alright, uh, it's kind of like this, I guess. Uh, I might have miscalculated. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that's basically a stud, and yeah, it'll probably apply to above, around, yeah, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you get the gist. So, let's move on. Under radius, mob name. This is just basically its name. Min damage, minimum damage. So, you can do anywhere from 5 to 10 points of damage. Level, 
its level, so you can make it level 5. It does, Changing its level doesn't make it stronger, it just makes it have a different level. So you can have like a level 99,999, who's the weakest enemy in the game. And also you can only put numbers for the level, you can't say... Uh, yeah, I tried typing in letters. It doesn't even let you anymore. Because it's an integer. Integers can only go from, ne from uh, I think, well, actually, I'm not sure if the, if the integers in Roblox are unsigned. Just ignore all that if you don't know what that means. If you do, good job. Anyways, hit chance. Uh, yeah, so hit chance is 80. This is the percent chance you'll have of hitting the enemy. Or the enemy will have of hitting you. I mean gold how much gold you get from killing it uh crit magnitude basically the multiplier for the critical divided by 100 so for example if you had this at 200 it'd be twice the damage that you'd originally have if you didn't get a critical on the enemy so or in this case you because you're fighting the enemy so let's say the enemy had uh was doing five points of damage and it hit a critical, then that'd be multiplied by two in this case. Be, then it'd be 2.5, and I'm pretty sure it'll go for decimal. Yeah, it'll be decimals. It's been forever since I used Roblox Studio, actually. All right, so crit chance, uh, basically percent chance of getting a critical. If you don't know what percent is, I'm pretty sure most of you guys, like maybe 95%, at least do. Basically, it's like. 5 out of 100 times this will happen, or 1 out of 20 times in this case. Or this will happen every time. This will happen half the time, quarter of the time. Well, you can't use decimals. So, yeah. That's basically the case. So, I just felt like I had to explain that. Cooldown magnitude. This is basically how many seconds divided by 100. So, this divided by 100 is how many seconds it'll take to hit again. This is 50. It's going to take 0.5 seconds for them to be able to hit you again. This is 100. I'm pretty sure it'll be 1 second. And this will be 3 seconds. This will be freaking 1,000 seconds. Or about about uh, 16 minutes and 40 seconds. I don't think you're going to want that. So I'd suggest keeping it around 50. Maybe shorter if you want. Uh, if you want stronger hits, but less of them, I guess. Chase range. Uh, wait, did I actually... Oh, no, I'm stupid. Uh, the wander radius? That's actually how far it'll wander. It'll just basically, like, randomly run around and stuff. Not run, but, you know, it'll basically just randomly walk around. I'm sorry, I kind of, kind of messed that up. Sorry if that messed... It. Well, yeah, that probably messed a lot of people up. I'm sorry about that. But chase range is how long they can chase you. Or no, actually, this is the radius of where it'll detect someone to chase. Like how far around it, not the origin location or where it is at the start. Basically, if it's okay, so if it's right there and you're like seven studs away, it'll it'll start chasing you around. Um, and then chase distance is how far away from. From, I think, yeah, from the origin location, I'm pretty sure it can chase you away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going from origin location and not from, you know, the the place that starts chasing you. But I'm not sure on that. But, yeah, so if you want it to chase it farther, just raise the value. I think I explained that all pretty well. Uh, and one more thing, make sure you have everything in this torso. Sometimes it'll break if you, like, sometimes there's, like, a bug. I don't know why this happens, but sometimes when I copy it and paste it around, it'll lose all of these things. It's a really weird glitch with Roblox. I don't know if it still happens, but it used to happen all the time in my RPGs, and it really made me mad. So, sword carrier. Just change this to the sword name. Sword. The swords have to be in... Alright, let's go here. Swords have to be in the items, so there's that. Respawn. Uh, this is actually a value you can change if you want. I know probably a lot of you guys don't know scripting, and if you do, congrats. But, yeah, you can change this weight thing. Just don't mess with any part, other part of the script. That'll probably mess it up. Or Unless you know how to code, then go ahead. Uh, but you can change this to be 5, and it'll take 5 seconds to respond, but I'm going to make it 10. 
Alright, I'm starting to get a sore throat, damn. Uh, armor. So, this is which armor it's going to wear. And, by the way, you can go to properties, then disabled if you don't want it to wear armor. Uh, that'll work. Animate. Oh, yeah, you don't, you shouldn't mess with that. That, that doesn't really need to be messed with. Again, with this. I guess you can look through it if you want. And maybe you can even make a better, you can make it better. And, oh my god, I, I actually just forgot something, damn. Uh, there's one more thing I forgot, and I'm pretty sure it's the XP share thing. So, yeah, because I actually did make a thing that will make it XP share. And, yeah, so, basically, uh, sorry about this, but you're actually going to need to edit all the weapons. I know I'm kind of going in a weird order. What the hell is this? Uh, okay then. Well, that's interesting. Uh, alright. Mm, yeah, the description. Cool. I might update that. I probably won't. Anyways. So this is basically the kit. So I'm just going to copy the new one here. Cut the old one. Uh, wooden sword, sword, and you can change the texture ID to whatever you want, but the last digits are the actual ID, you're going to have to subtract it by one, this is basically going to be the image that shows on like, you know, the inventory and stuff at the bottom, yeah, so that's going to be the image, I actually don't like having a texture ID at all, sometimes it'll like glitch if you try to remove it, but that basically makes it so it doesn't have any image to it. And this has a new sword script. So, yeah, you're going to want to actually do something. And I'll, here, I'll, sh I'll show you. Uh, and this is, this is useful because what it does is it doesn't remove the creator. Which means that, yeah, it, it's a lot better. Because then if you hit someone like, let's say you hit this enemy five minutes ago. I mean, sure, it'll be spammy, but... Alright, I'm gonna continue. So, let's say you hit this shared XP goblin... I don't know, let's say, ten minutes ago. Uh, then... Some other dude hits it. And you guys both shared the experience. Because, you know, the damage dealt and stuff. So... Yeah, what I want... The reason why I created this is, is so then people wouldn't be like... Well, you stole my kill! No, you stole my kill! And that wouldn't... <laughs> that was a really weird voice. But anyways, that wouldn't happen. You're gonna need to replace some scripts to get it to work. But, yeah. Anyways. Alright. Uh, and you're gonna need to replace the enemy, too. I'm sorry, I, I kind of messed up. Alright, so shared XP goblin. There we go. You know, the shared XP goblin. I wonder how long I've been doing this. Oh my god, almost over 30 minutes already. I've barely even gotten anything done. Okay, so shared XP wooden sword. You already copied that. Yeah, so we got this done. And this is going to be what. And yeah, it doesn't untag the humanoid, uh, which is a good thing. That's that's all that really changes. So actually, what I'm going to do here is, and you guys should follow too, uh, you don't have to do this with everything, I guess, but only do this to the, I don't know. Honestly, this is probably going to take way too long, so I'm not going to do this just for the sake of the tutorial, but what you need to do is un is comment that out, so... Every time you see untag humanoid, you need to copy that out. I mean, uh, copy what? Comment that out. Uh, so, I'm that's going to take way too long. I'm not going to get into that, but if you guys want the shared XP thing to fully work, you're going to need to do that. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's that. I might have messed up on that. I'm sorry. If I do, tell me in the comments. Uh... And hell, I might even upgrade this, the the shared XP thing. So, it'll include all of the weapons. And 
yeah, so that'll be better. But anyways, we've we spent way too long on this. We've spent way too long discussing that. So what we're going to need to do is... I don't know. I'm going to go through the level door next. And by the way, the shared XP goblin, there's it's pretty much the same. Same configuration. So what I just explained applies to the shared XP goblin. <clears throat> the only thing that's different is the name, which you can change from... Yeah, you can change there. Anyways, so level door... There's a lot of configuration, and since I made this, I'll know what everything does for sure. So area name, this is basically the name of it. So if I made it dangerous desert, then when you go, when you try to go through the door, or when you do, well, you, when you do go through the door, it'll say dangerous desert, and then it'll fade out and stuff. Door refresh time, 20. So I'm pretty sure this is when the door refreshes, and actually the instructions are here. And now I'm Atricity. Again, I don't know why I named myself that. Don't ask. Um, so yeah. Level value, mode, area name. Every All the configuration is there. Uh, time to close, level, or mode. Yeah, the mode. Advanced. Uh, let me advance. Any other setting will likely crash your game. Or not work the full advanced. Alright, so some of this is actually outdated. Some of the definitions. But they, they still basically apply. So, yeah, you can, you can mess with stuff, I guess. It shouldn't matter that much. The only ones I'm really going to go over is... Entrance text color which is basically the text color, so you can make it green. Uh, entrance text stroke color. So, like, the edge color. You know, like, uh, you know, like, the outline color, I guess. You can make it a lighter green. That uh, that look kind of cool. Uh, font. Well, actually, I don't know, just leave it at 2, I guess. Level value which is going to be one level name is just going to be the level and configuration and you can even make this to be gold if you made this into gold this would be so you have to have a certain amount of gold or just xp which would be really weird if you had literally an xp door and it wouldn't care about your level just your xp That'd actually be kind of cool i've never seen that used before you guys should try to implement that assuming assuming a lot of you guys are still watching if you are damn it's, it's pretty cool show name on enter uh, so this is basically if it'll actually pop up on your screen, and let me actually demonstrate this really, real quick. Yeah, the game has changed a lot. Wow. Uh, wooden sword. And just to test something, let's actually kill this shared XP goblin, because why not? Yeah, I'm easily distracted. I'm sorry. This isn't really. This isn't really a tutorial at this point. This is just me rambling. All right. So dangerous desert. I don't know why it'd be green, but yeah. So you can change the text and stuff. And by the way, I've noticed a problem with it. I might actually do this in another update. But uh, if you hit one side of the door, it'll it'll only apply to that side. I might add that as an update, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's a good idea. I'm pretty sure I know how to implement that. But yeah, I just, yeah, I felt like I had to say that. But anyways, so yeah, this is how this works. Warn is if it warns at a certain level. And you can change the warn level, I'm pretty sure. Uh, level below to warn. So if you're below level 2, it'll warn you, I'm pretty sure. Apparently that's not working. Oh yeah, it's because I it's because I had this disabled. So yeah, it'll actually warn you if you're a certain level, but it's not like it'll stop you if you get warned, which I mean kind of makes the feature a bit redundant, but whatever. Should XP. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what I should go to next. Actually, this is gonna be difficult. All right, so what we're gonna need to do next is game properties. Yes, finally, we're actually gonna get to to the more 
important stuff. So additional XP needed. All right, we need we we need to find a better order to do things in actually, uh, because uh, because. Oh, why? I keep getting distracted. Like, I just stopped for, like, 10, 20 seconds. Uh, so additional XP needed. Alright, alright. Never mind what I said previously. I'm really wasting time. Additional XP needed. So basically, um, let's say you need... Alright, so let's say there's a linear system we're in. It's 25 per level. So if you're level 1, it'll be 25 XP. Level 2, 50 XP. And this is just your base XP. Well, this is an additive to that. So, and it doesn't matter what level you are. It'll still add this. So now if it's 100, and let's say we had the linear system with 25 per level, it'd be, uh, it'd be 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, etc., etc., uh, attribute cap, the max attributes, uh, if you want it to be infinity, pretty much, this is the highest number it can go to, to, uh, so, 2 to the, f 2 to the 31st power, actually, if, if you want, you can just, yeah, uh, so, 2 to the 31st minus 1, actually, but, what I just set it to is 2 billion, 147 million, uh, three hundred and six eighty-six thousand four hundred twenty-one. I don't like having max, max values. I don't know that why, but that's just boring to me. Uh, a tribute reset cost initial. So basically, uh, this is your initial cost to, you know, reset your attributes. So if you set this to zero, it and then let's say per level it was two hundred and fifty, it just It'd be like zero at level zero, one at, it'd be 250 at level one, 500 at level two, 750 at level three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Attribute reset cost per level. So yeah, this is the per level. You can change this to whatever you want. Personally, I don't, I don't know why it should cost some money. Uh, but that's just me. Do what you want. Uh, base crit chance. So this is your what the hell? Uh, so this is your base critical chance. So it starts at 5%. This adds on to everything, like, uh... Uh, this adds on to things like, for example, attributes and... Well, I mean, sp more specifically, dexterity and your... And your level. And your hit chance, well... Yeah, that, that's pretty much the same thing as crit chance, except your chance to actually hit without missing. Crit chance cap. Uh, your chance at hitting a critical. Uh, the max chance at hitting a critical. Since I don't like having caps, I just put this at 100. I think if you put this any higher, I'm not sure what will happen. I'm not, I've never tried that. You can try that if you want, I guess. Crit chance dex magnitude. That's, that's a lot. Damn. Anyways, so... Uh, if you put this at 100, for example, it'd be so you get 1... So you get 1% crit chance every level if, if you put this at 100. If you put this at 5, you get 0.05% crit chance per level. Or actually, no, per dexterity. I'm sorry about that. Dex stands for dexterity. Defense mode... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know much about this. Uh, sorry about that. I'm pretty sure that 3 is... It'll only affect you for defense. 0 is... It'll affect you for health. Something like that. Dex to gain ranged damage. So this is how much dexterity you need in order to gain X amount of ranged damage. Which will be configured later on. Global PvP. If you have PvP everywhere. I don't think the PvP system works anyways. I'm not sure. I don't think it works. Uh, I might show you how to add that, but I'm not. I'm not sure how much I'm going to go over in this, really. But I'm at least going to go over the basics. HP per Constitution. How much HP you get per Constitution? Max HP. So let's say you had this at 10. If you if you added um, if you had eight Constitution points, you get plus 80 max HP. HP per level, pretty much the same deal. Has PVP. Well, if the game has PvP, I mean... Uh, again, I'm not sure if the system actually works that well. 
Uh, and by the way, I made my I made a better system for it, but I don't think I've actually released it. So yeah. Hit chance dex magnitude. Uh, so anyways, basically. So twenty that would be yeah it's pretty much the same deal with crit chance, uh, dex magnitude. Uh, and dex to gain, I already went over that. Level cap, same deal with, uh, same deal with the, um, attribute cap, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's just the max level. Uh, levels to gain points, so how many levels you need to get X amount of attribute points, which I think is going to be per... Oh, God, I'm starting to get really get a sore throat. This is how many attribute points you get per level. Uh, no, actually, this is how many levels it takes to get the amount of points. Which is, yeah, I'm sorry. Taking too long to do this. Uh, levels to gain range damage. How many levels it'll take to get to get X amount of range damage. Uh, which is range damage per level. No, actually, no, I think it's... Uh, I wonder where that is. Oh, that that's right there. Okay. Levels to increase sword damage. Uh, pretty sure that's self-explanatory. I think a lot of this is self-explanatory, really. Uh, MP per intelligence. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Mana regenerate. So, twice. That means every two seconds you'll get one mana, I'm pretty sure. Or it might be you get two mana per second. I'm actually not sure. Uh, either way, uh, you can try that. I'm sorry, I don't really know. Uh, point gain increment. So every X levels, wh where X is what you previously configured, or I think it's early on. Uh, so yeah, if I shut this to 5, every X amount of levels, I'd get 5 attribute points if I set it to 5. PvP level minimum. So this is the minimum level to PvP. PvP level range, so there's a 25 level range, so for example, if you're level 50, you can PvP people from 25 to 20, I mean 75. Range damage per gain dexterity, so every dexterity, this is how much range damage you're gonna get. Uh, for every several dexterity, or how many ever you set it, range damage per a certain amount of levels that you set. Starting attribute points, uh, so this is how many you start with in every skill. Starting attributes, so... Oh no, actually this is how many you start with it with every in every skill. This is just how many you start with when you start the game. Or, yeah, when you're like level 0, or, I don't know, something like that. Uh, starting HP. Uh, your base HP. Uh, starting MP, your base MP. Strength to increase sword damage. How much strength you need to increase your sword damage, I'm pretty sure. So, if, if this is set to 2, and you set it so you get 2, you get, uh, 2 sword damage per strength, then you'll, you know, you'll, oh, crap. You'll get, every 2 levels, you'll get 2 strength. Uh, you'll get 2 more sword damage. Uh... Sword damage per gain level. So, okay, so this is basically the thing I just went over. So, for the strength at least, you'll get, if you set this to 2 every this amount of levels, or if you set this to whatever, that's how many you'll get per that many levels, basically. Sword damage per gain level. So, how much you'll get uh, per level, basically. And... Yeah, the amount of levels it takes to get that is eventually set. So finally, we're actually getting pretty far. Uh, um, all right. So XP type linear. There's linear and okay. Hold on, I need to go into the. All right. So I'm actually gonna go into the script and check. So. There's linear, square, and exponent for the XP types. Square goes from... Uh, 
All right, so it goes 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, etc. So if you put this at, if you put the XP per level at 10 in square, it'd be 10, 40, 90, 160, 250, etc. If you put it as exponent, then it'd be based on exponent magnitude. So, if you, again, it's when it's magnitude, it means divided by 100, I think. So, if you put this at 105 and you put this as exponent, it'll start at XP per level, pretty sure. And, yeah, so, if this is... I haven't actually experimented with this, but if this is, uh, let's say, 10... And you put this at 2, it'd square that every level, so it'd be 10, 100, 1,000. Yeah, I don't think you'd really want that. Uh, so yeah, that, that goes over, I guess. And the XP exponent magnitude, I'd probably set it at around uh, 105. Don't go below 100, because you'll literally make it, so you need the last XP to level up. And that'll be really weird, actually. That actually be pretty cool. Whatever. Uh, so linear is basically just uh, XP per level. So say it's 50, 50, 100, 150, 200, etc. Uh, I'd suggest you put it at square. And by the way, the value has to be lowercase. And you have to add an XP type. I'm pretty sure it has to. No, actually it doesn't have to be lowercase. Uh, and XP per level. Yeah, so you can configure that. XP exponent magnitude, that only matters with exponent. So, let's see how much time I used. Holy crap, it's probably like 45 minutes. 50 minutes, wow. I'm surprised if you're still watching this, you're really patient. Damn. Alright, so I went over that. Next, we're going to go over shops. So, <clears throat> this is the shop button. And what you have to do is configuration... So shop UI, and it's gonna be different if you're still if you're using the default button. These two things won't be there. So the shop UI is the name of the GUI that pops up, and the GUIs have to be in here. Well, actually, yeah. So disappears. Yeah, it'll disappear. Disappear distance. Uh, 25. So it should be 25 studs away for just dis disappear. If it disappears, that is true. So yeah, um, uh, you don't really need to worry about the script. This is going to be in replicated storage, and you can change that in the script. So if you put, if you change this replicated storage thing to replicated first for lighting the thing would have to be in those respective places so yeah uh all right sorry i was just checking something uh okay all right then so we got that out of the way uh you can change these texts at the top by the way and if you're wondering with it yeah, that sound, that's just my chair. So anyways, uh, you can change what this dude looks like. You can change his name. Uh, you can change the text, too. So, building. This is the actual building itself. You can change that. I don't, I don't know. This is the decoration. So, all that crap. Display. Surface UI title. So, for example, you can make this say, so yeah. But so we're gonna make it our shop. Here we go. So yeah, I guess. Uh, top levels. I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure I should go over this next. This isn't that hard to configure, but you're gonna need to change a lot of things. I don't know why I made it, so you have to change so much, but. Just bear with me. I could probably have simplified this, but okay then. Whatever. Anyways, so read this script. This re this should require basic scripting knowledge, but let's say you want this to actually be gold, right? And by the way, this won't work in testing. I'm just gonna go over this. Uh, some of the game will be really glitchy in testing. 
So player save, this is where it's saved in. Uh, yeah, so if it's going to be a thing in leader stats, which is basically where your level XP gold is, then yeah, okay, keep it there. But if you want it in attributes where your stats and stuff, yeah, you can put there too, and then you can change it to attack. Uh, player update. Uh, how often do you want? How often you want to change the player's stat in seconds? So, can't be less than thirty, because that'll cause problems with the save. I'm pretty sure. Score updates. How much? How fast do you want the leaderboards to upgrade? I mean, not the leader. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if you rename the database, which I'm not sure what it is actually. I'll score. Okay. Why is this a. Oh, I just. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, so the refresh value is how long it'll take to refresh. So actually. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these stats are actually irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. Uh, wait, does it actually upgrade the, does it even upgrade the refresh? Alright, never mind. So, you don't, you don't need to add these values, I'm sorry about that. Anyways. So, let's do this. Script at data store dot value. So, these are going to be the top level scores, right? Uh, so... Uh, we need to close out of this. Uh, top level source. So, all right. So, just put this in like the thing. So, for example, let's make this top gold scores. Uh, so you can have multiple of them. And remote score. Upload score. Again, you're not really going to need to mess with this stuff. I don't suggest you do, really, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah. And, by the way, you're going to need to change this value, too. ODS. So, let's make it top gold scores, because this is what we want, right? And, just to be safe, let's change this value, too. There you go. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, sort of changed this. Uh, the only thing, other thing you might want to change is uh, data label. Uh, so, or not, not the name. You don't want to change the name. Uh, we'll just change it to top gold or richest players. And so yeah, we have this. I'm not sure if it's actually... I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Tell me if this doesn't work. I'll try to fix it. Or maybe I won't. You know, I'm very lazy a lot of the time. Anyways, so now we've actually gotten a lot done. Uh, not that much, but I still haven't went over some very important things. I'm trying to keep this a bit simple at first. Alright, so shared XP goblin. That's what we're going to go over next. Or just the XP goblin. Uh, one more thing I need to go over, actually. Uh, you can actually just add your face, and if you want to add a hat and stuff... Well, actually, I think you should do that in the armor, but... Uh, never mind. I think the armor would actually cover it and stuff. For example... You could put this in, like, the chest part of the armor. Like, uh... Uh, the adamant. No, but you can, you can actually, uh, put, like, a hat... And part of the armor, I guess, if you want. That actually looked kind of cool, but whatever. So, see what I mean? Uh, this is what I'd try to do, honestly. So, don't add it in the middle, by the way. That's the base part. But, if you can somehow get a head, like you can think of a head, I guess, I'm pretty sure that you could actually make it so you can have a hat of some sort. I'm actually going to try this out. I know I'm really distracting myself a lot, but we're going to go over armors now anyways, so, you know, I might as well. And one more thing, the armor shop is different from the other shops. 
I'm actually going to go over that one first, because, you know, I'm weird like that. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to go into scripts again. Don't worry, you're not going to really need no scripting. All you're going to need to do is follow my instructions, and you should be fine. So, unlocked adamant. Where's adamant, by the way? I don't... Okay, so adamant is the eighth... Uh, hold on. It's seventh value. There we go. So let's make adamant armor free, because why not? And let's go into the configuration. Make it so you have to be level zero or level zero plus to equip it. HP boost. This is how much HP you get from it. Uh, I'm actually pretty sure. Depending on which mode you're using, HP boost won't work. I'm pretty sure the default mode, it'll be just HP boost and not defense. Or maybe it'll be both. But let's make it so you get 500 HP from it. Defense, 40. So that's how much damage it subtracts, I guess. So let's test the game again. And, oh my god, this is going to be a huge file. Jeez. It's going to take forever to upload, too. Armor shop. Uh, yeah, armor shop. There you go. And let's get the adamant armor. It's going to be free. So now we can wear it, right? Uh, this looks kind of weird. So, actually, what I'm going to try to do is... Uh, let's, let's get a... Let's get a mesh. And by the way, what I'd suggest you do here is... What the, what the hell? Uh, Explorer just glitched on me. Not sure what to do. Uh. What the hell? I might as well play. Try. I should try going this this again. Yeah, this seems to work. I think that fi yeah that fixed it. All right, so, anyways, you have that part done. So shop button, and oh jeez, I'm not sure if I should really continue this. I'm actually starting to get bored. Uh, anyways, so this is the shop scripts. Uh, you can add your own armor names. So, let's see, you can create a new armor called uh, I don't know. Uh, noob armor or you could just you don't have to use the U uh, it just depends on which type of English you're using uh, I like to, for some reason I like to put the parentheses around the U I'm pretty sure they're called parentheses uh, I don't know why that that just seems easier for me because it avoids confusion but it doesn't matter uh, some people use it without the U some do some use it with and you just need to add a comma by the way and Enter. Make sure there's double quotes or else it won't work. Uh, this is armor worn by noobs. You are, are a noob if you wear this armor. And we need to add, add new values. This is going to take a little bit of time. Just bear with me. You're also going to need to ed edit the saves, which I'm actually going to also be going over later. So, unlocked... Uh, unlocked noob, and then we're gonna have to. Oh, jeez, it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. Armor ten. All right, so we just need to duplicate this button. Uh, put this. Yeah, so just do what I do. Uh, or what? Alright, so what you're going to want to do is add by add by 25 to the previous position thing. Because that will work. And by the way, while you're editing... Hold on. Uh, what, uh, while you're editing, I'd actually copy this and put this in your starter GUI. Uh, make sure to cut it and paste it. 
uh, back into replicated storage. Or actually, you know, I think I just cut it and put it in. Yeah, and then you just cut it and put this back in replicated storage. Make sure that you actually, actually make sure you don't lose this. So maybe I just go with copying, but I digress. Anyways, uh, make the frame bigger. Uh, and by the way, this is this doesn't look the same on all resolutions. So you might even want to make it so it it looks the same by using the scale thing. But you don't have to do that. It's kind of a waste. Anyways, yeah, so we have our new armor. We have to change the text to noob armor. So noob armor. Then we have to create our new ar noob armor. Because I'm so lazy, I'm actually not going to make anything. I'm just going to... No poob. Okay. Noob. And you're going to need to be level uh, zero. Might as well just keep all the stats the same. You guys should know what these things do by now. Uh. Uh. You know. Let's actually just make this like really weird. Uh. Yeah, I'm just removing random parts from the adamant armor. It's going to look really strange, but who cares? Let's do this for the sake of creativity. Why not? Uh, yeah, very creative. I wonder what this is actually going to look like in-game. But anyways, now we have to do the harder part. Uh, this actually doesn't really matter which... Well, actually, not, never mind. It definitely does. Uh, which RPG save script you're using. So anyways... Oh, jeez. Alright. So, by this point, you should you should know how to have... You should know a lot of the stuff I just explained. If you guys don't know some of the stuff I just explained, you should go back. And maybe you can skip past some of my rambling. But anyways, uh, what is it? Uh, noob. So, unlocked noob. There we go. And, yeah, so, this is if you unlock the noob armor. And we're going to have to be changing lots of stuff. Isn't that exciting? Yay! Oh, God, this sounded really weird. Anyways, it sounded a bit creepy, actually. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so, unlock the noob. This is going to take a while. Be, pa be patient. Kind of stuttered there. All right, so yeah, just you're just gonna need to copy everything I do. And by the way, this depends on what you name the armor. So if you named if okay, I need to be a little bit slower. So for example, get data store unlocked noob. So if you named it like another armor, just put unlocked and then the armor name, and you can figure this armor name in the shop script. So unlock unlocked noob will match the other unlocked noob. I need to I need to go over these things. I feel like I have to go over literally everything sometimes. But anyways. So yeah. Uh I'd actually say they are, because he slash C that that sounds a bit silly. I don't know why you just Okay, whatever. That's just my preference. I don't I don't care what you want to do with that. You don't have to do that for dork. Um and by the way, this this actually applies for adding any other stat too. So yeah, and I'm actually thinking of making a new version of this that isn't as tedious. Yeah, that'd be a lot better. Uh, so yeah, so just basically replace that with ten, and let's make it unlocked noob. There you go. Um, let's see. Uh, unlocked noob again. Uh, and just copy paste. I mean, copy this. Change this to armor 10. And it'll save armor to player. 
So let's see, where have we added unlocked noob? Uh, just make sure to check that everything has an unlocked armor 10. Everything that would require it. And you could also do the same thing with, uh, you know, levels, clicks for. You don't have to do clicks, but I don't know. Basically, the same process will apply. It, you should be able to figure this out on your on your own, honestly. I mean, if after I've show you show you how to do it once, you should be able to apply that knowledge. I don't think I should have to go over literally every little thing. So yeah, uh, we actually got that part done. I thought it'd take a lot longer. Uh, let's make sure this works. I don't want to have a glitched version. One more thing, we need to put this, before we begin, we need to put this back, cut this. And, uh, let's get the, let's get our new armor. Uh, what the, wait, I think I forgot to add it in another script. Did I, wait, did I actually just, oh my god, I think I just messed everything up. Armor 10, wait. Why isn't this showing up? Um. That's weird. I think that should have showed up. What the? Wait, let me uh, let me do this again. I I feel like one of them are missing. Or maybe I'm just being an idiot and I didn't notice it. Wait, what? No, oh my god. We actually forgot to edit another thing. Ah, damn. I'm really stupid. I'm sorry. Uh Well, where is it actually? We we only edited the shop. The armor GUI. Oh yeah, we forgot to edit this. Oh jeez. This isn't it's not gonna take that much longer, I promise. Uh armor ten. So yeah, a lot of this stuff is just adding new values. You don't need to worry that much. Oh shit. Alright. Hopefully, I won't have to cut out any parts. That would really suck. Um, noob. I really don't want to have to yell either. That would be embarrassing as hell. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really mind it anywhere. Everything I've done here is embarrassing as hell. Oh shit! I almost, I almost actually had a voice crack there. I've been trying to make my voice stable so I won't have that, but it's inevitable. I've already had it a few times. Anyways, so, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you're going to have to copy that description again if you want it again. It's not like the description will save for the things, so let's go all the way back to the shop script. Well, all the way back so far, right? Uh, worn by noobs. Yeah, freaking noobs wear that. Come on, man. Such a noob. Shouldn't be wearing that, man. Alright, anyways. Equip script. We gotta make sure all of these have armor 10. Interface script. Uh. Alright, good. Unlocked noob. These are all very important. And we also have to add armor. We have to add another button, of course. Armor 10. And let's see how much we have to increment by this time. Again, sorry, I forgot. So, 250. Difference is... is um, difference for this is 200... Is um, 25. So, we're going to have to change this. Uh, I'm gonna have to change that to noob. And. Alright, good. Oh, jeez. Uh, 73 minutes. It's not that. Nah, that's not that long. Really. Not JK. It's friggin' long. 
Why did I use an acronym out loud? What the hell's wrong with me? Anyways, uh, we should actually... Yeah, we need to unlock this armor first. At least I have the proper level. Uh, so, actually, what I should have done is... Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm really getting paranoid. I don't want to have to cut out the video, because then it's going to make me... It's going to take me even longer, because I'm going to have to actually edit the video. And editing videos... Just don't the I don't like editing videos, because <laughs> not only do I not have a good editing software, Windows Movie Maker, thing's horrible, uh, well, it gets the job done, but it's not very good, that's my point, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, it takes time to upload it, and why did I make it 500, I should actually make it zero just for the sake of the tutorial, just for testing, even though I'm almost 100% sure it's going to work, there's probably at least one problem, and I kind of want to see how stupid it's going to look on me. Probably actually is armor for noobs. Alright, what the hell is this? That freaking shard there. <laughs> Alright, that... Alright, whatever. That was some strange armor. And you can change the armor, by the way. Uh, It doesn't have to look good or anything, but... You know, you can change it and stuff. Shared XP Goblin. Alright, we've we've gotten over a lot, actually. We need to go over the regular shops now. Those are a lot simpler. You don't have to worry about all that stuff in the regular shops. Uh, and by the way, most of the shops are the same. Oh, no, I forgot about the spells. and the, Oh, my God. Uh, I hate the spell. Alright, we're gonna have to work with the spell shop and the cell shop. Huh, they sound similar. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Let's work with the weapon staff, weapon staff, um, bow, and. Oh god, my ear hurts now. Yeah, let's work with the base shops. So, this is a base shop. This. Or base as in like a more regular shop. This, this. Oh no, no not that. Is there, th is there really only three? And there, there's no potion shop, but you can make your own, I guess. Anyways, so how you're going to edit this is going into a frame, basically. And... Yeah, so you can add your own items. Uh, I don't think there's a page system for this at the moment, but who cares. Uh, if you don't want If you don't want every item to appear, you can just make some of them invisible. If you don't want that many items in the shop, or you can even add more. Uh, so it shouldn't be that hard to add more. Again, you just gotta move the things over, copy, paste, move over, change image. This is really just UI knowledge. If you know how to use UIs, this shouldn't be too hard. I'm only making this for I'm my target audience is pretty much people who don't know how to do this stuff really. If you, if you do know how to do this stuff, I don't think you're going to have to follow the entire thing. So move it 120 pixels over for each new item frame. Uh, and, alright, we're definitely not done. We still have a lot more. So let's make everything free. Who doesn't like free stuff? You don't have to have an image here, exactly. Just, you can add an image. Just, alright. You can replace, you can remove that, and bone sword, so noob sword, um, I'm very lazy, you can create your own image, uh, copy, so, uh, what you can do here is copy the image, and then just paste, and then change the last several digits, probably usually nine digits, and just replace that with the ID of your asset, and you can use the URL bar, the last few digits, that thing with question mark ID equals, and the thing after that, those numbers, paste that there, uh, and those, those last nine digits, or eight, or however many digits, basically a numerical value, and yeah, so that, and you might have to keep subtracting it by one until you get it to work, so, yeah. I hope that explained it. So, anyways, let's try to make this quick. So, cost, how much it costs, currency, what you're going to use. You can use levels if you want, actually. Uh, description, uh, 
you're a noob if you use this sword. There you go. Um, item name, bone sword. Oh wait, what? No, <laughs> should be the noob sword. This is basically the i the the name of your item, like the actual name of it. Uh, and then you're also gonna have to change the text here, which is just lovely, isn't it? And the name of your item is in here. So, yeah, like the actual name of the object. To, yeah. Anyways, alright, so we have that part done. This can be applied to every other UI, and you can create your own UIs and visible and invisible certain things. So, I really don't want to spend too much time on this. A lot of it is just applying the knowledge you already know to the other UIs. So, it's it's not worth my time to, you know, obsess over things like that. And we actually haven't created the noob sword yet, so I'm going to teach you guys what's how to create your own swords. And yeah, I'm going all over the place with this tutorial, ranging from easy to complex, more complex stuff. So, as I always do, I remove the asset ID. Uh, with the sword thing, you can use the scripts if you're willing to take the time. Okay, I just want to make sure. No, are you, you? If you're willing to take the time, you can replace all of the scripts. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, and you can also change the tooltip, the format of it, I guess. So this is the format: min damage, max damage, etc. But basically, all you really need to know with swords is crit magnitude multiplier for getting a critical hit. Sort of similar to what you went over like pretty much an hour ago with mobs. Uh, this is two times the damage for every critical hit you get. Uh, max damage, max damage with the sword, uh, which is added by your strength, which the strength adds your sword damage, which in turn changes those values and adds the min and max damage values. So let's say you had 10 min damage and 12 max damage, and you had 3 strength, and for every strength, you'd get one more sword damage. Well, yeah, it's 9 and... 12, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so, I have bad memory, sorry. So, you'd be getting, yeah, let's say the values are 9 to 12, right? So you'd be getting 12 to 15 instead of 9 to 12, basically. That, that, that should explain it. So, yeah, and you can also change the mesh and the handle. This is basically the handle. It has to be named handle or else it won't work. Uh, you can probably get a welding script. Search free models for welding. Uh, I have I haven't made my own. They're pretty simple. If you know how to make one, that's all power to you. Uh, and you can add that in here. So, yeah, I guess. Oh, jeez, I wonder how much more I have to go over. Jeez, this is gonna take forever. Uh, potion amount. This is how much it heals. That's literally it. Pretty much. Oh, and uh, to change it, potions color. Yeah, you can change the potion. PvP sword, again, you can also change this. Uh, PvP, the PvP sword goes by your level and your damage. It, 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 like, changes it so it's fair for everyone. I don't like that system at all. I think it should be based on your level, not by skill entirely, but also influenced by your level. I mean, it'd still technically be possible to be the level 50 at level 10, but, yeah. So, I don't really like the PvP system, I'm sorry. I mean, it's... It it works, but... Well, I'm, as, for, as far as I know, it sort of works, but... I don't really like it. Anyways. I really am losing my voice. Damn. Uh, let's go back to editing the, um... Stuff, so... Anyways, oh jeez, a lot of stuff. So, Inferno, this is a, um... This is a... Uh, spell script, so, oh god, spells, this is a messy system, uh, I'm sorry, I mean, it's, it's, it's good, but it's hard to explain it, uh, so the spells shouldn't be too difficult, uh, so yeah, this should explain it pretty well, actually, so, basically, this is in addition per intelligence, so how much more damage you get per intelligence. Uh, 
base damage, uh, the base amount of damage, excluding the intelligence additive, uh, cooldown. So, yeah, three. So, how many seconds you have to wait to be able to use it again? Effect magnitude, uh, ten. I'm not actually sure what that. I'm serious. I, I, I for I don't know. What is effect magnitude? Uh, well, I think actually effect magnitude is is um how long it'll how much longer it'll last. I guess. Uh, per per intelligence, I'm actually not sure on that. I apologize. Uh, flame color, uh, yeah, it'll change the fire color. Flame heat, yeah, this just configures the fire. Mana cost, how much mana it'll take to cast that spell. Offset, the range of damage, which I actually think is uh, sort of better than having a min and max damage. Sort of. Uh, so let's say, including intelligence and all. Your max damage should be 8. Oh, I mean your damage should be 8. So then, it can be anywhere from 3 to 13. That's what offset is. And if you, with 5 at least. So, there you go. And damage over time, uh, magnitude. Uh, so apparently that's how much damage you're going to take from the effect. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you should actually not worry about these values and worry about these values. And, yeah, so timer's how long it's going to take and how long it's going to last. Magnitude is just how much damage it does, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to take these into consideration, but whatever. Alright, finally, so we're going to the Ice Bow. And I just suggest changing these values. If it doesn't work, change these values. But anyways, I'm I'm rambling like way too long now. All right, so bow damage, damage sixty. Headshot damage magnitude. Uh, so mul oh god. Uh, so multiplier for uh critical hit. So for example, this is two hundred. You'll get twice damage if you get a critical hit. I mean, pr critical as in getting a headshot. Um, spam arrow. I never really understood that, but what the hell is spam arrow? Alright. Spam arrow. Um. I'm not sure, actually, what that is. Uh, so. Let me read through this, really. Uh, so, sign, sign times one, what the hell? I'm pretty sure that basically, as far as I can tell, it'll add multiple arrows, it's question mark. Yeah, it's gonna add 20 arrows, what? Sorry, I'm, I'm confusing myself, really. Um... Yeah, it'll just send a volley of arrows. I don't know. That's that's what I can tell. Actually, some of the bows are different. I don't. This is a little. This is a little bit messy. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of a messy system. And as for the staffs, well, addition per intelligence. Uh, how much extra damage you get per intelligence? Base damage. How much base damage? So like 40. Let's say you had two. Um, two of this, three intelligence. So you'd have 46 damage offset. So let's say three offset. So Say so we had that 46 value from earlier, 40, 43 to 49. Intelligence between gains, so let's say this is at 1, that would apply, yeah. So, I was talking really fast, but you guys should get what I'm saying. And by the way, here, you can actually change the pellet that comes out. Like when you attack and stuff, you know. I don't know why that wasn't a feature in the first place, but... Hey. And also, some of the scripts are different. Like, I think the heal script... I think the burn the burn and chill scripts are pretty much the same. But if you go to the healing scripts, like Greater Heal, for example... 
Uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing, except it'll heal you. So base heal 160, offset 10. Again, it's affected by how much intelligence you have, has a cooldown. And it costs a certain amount of mana. So, I hope that explained that, I guess. And, can't believe I still haven't really done much. Uh, Alright, so now we know how to make different weapons. So, we've already made the noob sword now. So, let's see how much time I've been recording. Damn, one hour to 30 minutes. I don't know who would actually still be watching now. Jeez. Anyways. So... Mm, okay. We already figured out how to create new shops, at least as far as some of them go. We need to go over a spell shop and sell UI, and then we're actually, I think we're almost done after we do that. After we figure out how to create swords, edit the enemies, edit the extra stuff. All you're really going to need to do from there on is be able to figure out how to edit the XP bars and whatnot. And I don't really think I need to... I guess I'll go over that, but... Alright, fine. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyways. Oh, jeez. It's going to take a while. Basically... I'm sorry, but you're going to have to edit the script. Like, this requires scripting knowledge. So... Oh, jeez. Alright, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to use script at least. So, let's say you wanted to add a new tab. You'd create. Alright, fine. I guess we can do this. I shouldn't be too lazy anyways. Uh, No, let's go to stabs. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. And, because we might as well, we should put the cell UI there. And by the way, in the text label, you can change the title. I think that applies with all of them. Anyways, though. So there's a cell script, which you don't need to mess with that, actually, unless you want to, I don't know, if you want to change stuff. And the tab script. So let's actually... Uh, we need to create a new tab, don't we? Uh, so... Add this value by 40, so if it's at 100, make it, add it by 40 if we want to add a new tab. Let's name this, uh, test. Not very creative, test. By the way, it's case sensitive, if you didn't know that by now. Pretty sure you do. Maybe you don't, I don't know anymore. What am I doing with my life? Uh, okay, so test. Now we just need to make a frame called test frame 1. And item, uh, noob sword. Even though this should belong in swords, I'm just doing this for the sake of demonstration. Item is basically which item, so that's that. Sell price, how much you can sell it for, I guess. So if I put this at 900, sell for 900 GP. GP. Uh, I'm thinking of RuneScape now. Uh, 900. Uh, 900 gold or whatever currency. And wait, what the? This shouldn't be visible. All right, so like, let's make that invisible actually. So yeah, I guess. And now we have this done. We can actually change the sell button, which is this is what this is what's actually. What the hell? It's only me. There you go. Finally, uh, noob sword, noob sword. I'm very creative. Why am I naming that? Alright, so let's make it sort of yellow. So that'll close it. These will change the pages. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, so there's the tab script. Uh, and... You know what we're going to need to do? Uh, we're going to need to... Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you could actually just do this. Uh, this is actually really convenient. And let's name this Noob. Uh, 
Uh, wait, what is the actual, uh, test? Alright, we gotta be very careful. I, I really need to be fast. Oh, uh, so let's actually just, uh, put noob here. Or no, test. Why am I, why am I saying noob all of a sudden? I don't even know why I'm using it unironically right now, but who cares? Uh, tab button name, uh, test? Yeah, it's test, yeah. Select tab dot. Alright, yeah. That should work. And now, uh, let's move this script back to where it's supposed to be, which is replicated to storage. Hope you all remember that. Uh, where's the pawn shop? Wait, are you telling me I actually forgot the pawn shop? I feel like a complete idiot now, but... Oh, God. I really am stupid. Uh... Alright, so you know what I'm gonna do? This is actually a good demonstration for editing something. Uh... It's gonna look nothing like a pawn shop. I'm way too lazy to do that. I mean, come on. Uh, pawn shop. And then we're gonna need to change the text here, right? Um, decoration, display, title, there you go. Pawn shop, there you go. So, pawn shop. Pawn shop owner. Uh, again, this is going to look nothing like a pawn shop. There's a freaking mage here. And... Uh, change it to cell GUI. So, yeah, I think it's cell GUI. Uh, I might actually mute this. Uh, okay. Good, I didn't have to mute it. Oh, God. <laughs> This is kind of scary. I have to go a few hours without having to mute it. That's going to be really difficult to do stuff all the time. I'm surprised I haven't had... Okay, I'm getting off topic. Uh, Alright. What the... Wait, did it... What? Is it still using the outdated version? Please tell me it's not. Oh my god. Did I seriously do that? I feel like an idiot now. Oh no. Is there two of them? Wait. Oh, it's because there's two of them. Forgot to delete the old one. Yeah, if you have two of them. That's not good. It might go with the older one. Uh, never mind. I actually deleted the wrong one. It's pretty funny. If you ask me. Maybe, maybe it's not to you. I, I don't know. Who cares? Uh... Okay, let's delete that one. Hopefully they're not going to be the exact same. That's really going to piss me off. I have to demonstrate everything to clarify it works. There you go. Test. Uh, That's not working, apparently. Let's see what's wrong, because I forget things all the time. That's just what I do. Uh, Anyways. Tab script. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh. Select tab. What is it called? You're gonna have to change this value, too. I'm sorry about that. So. Test frame one. And if you want to add more pages, simply copy paste this and change the ending value to two. So. Pretty sure if we did this and we changed this to two. Yep, 
yeah now we're now we're gonna have two pages pretty sure this is all gonna work so let's do this all right so yeah blah 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 test uh what pages don't even work with the all right then apparently pages don't work or maybe I'm doing something wrong again uh, as far as I know they work question mark Next, let's go to next. Uh, I think I might be doing something. Okay, whatever. Let's not worry about pages. I don't think you're gonna have to get into that. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go over that. You, you'll probably figure it out. It's probably not gonna be that difficult, but. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm starting to sound really weird now. Uh, let's see, richest players, we have that done. We actually just need the spell shop. That's Then we'll have most of it done. So, next let's get into the spell shop. Oh, jeez, this is going to be difficult. All right. All right, I didn't need to yawn. Or not really yawn, but you know. Anyway, so to explain this simply, that's impossible. Basically. Okay. So change this to how many levels everything will have cuz why not? Let's say if one of them had four levels, you Oh my god, you you pretty much need scripting for this. I don't, I'm not going to lie, you're going to need scripting. But, let's say you wanted to add another level. Uh, this is how many levels you have for each tier. So, for example, heal, fire, ice. I'm not actually going to do this because I'm not actually going to... I'm probably not even going to create my own thing. I'm just going to be honest with you. Because this is a very... Uh, not very user friendly. Uh, if it was more user friendly, I'd probably do that. But I mean, I know how to do this stuff. But I'm just saying. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna make one called Noob. Again, I don't know why I'm using the word Noob unironically, but uh, are you really gonna get mad at me for that? Uh, this is basically the requirement spell. So, for example, if you have uh, well, you need a certain spell to get another spell, so you're gonna need chill to get, um, frost or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Lesser heal to get moderate heal, and you're gonna need moderate heal to get greater heal. Spell cost, so the cost corresponding to which one, spell levels, level corresponding to which one, etc., etc. So this is going to apply to this, applies to this, because it's the 10th index of the array so yeah or the index of the table pretty sure they call it tables in lua all right so we're gonna have to move this to the to actually be visible and we're gonna have to edit lots of stuff really uh Actually, we don't have to edit that much. We just the only reason I don't really like this system is because they didn't, they made it so upper level. I mean, not upper level. They made it more low level to the point where you have to actually edit the script. And yeah, I mean, it's a good kit, but they want they should they should have worked a bit more on user friendliness. That's that's me. Like some of it's really good, other parts not not as good. Uh. All right, so I spell uh, noob spell. There's actually going to be only one tier, so that's cool. Uh, and we're just gonna call this one noob. So, yeah, it's not gonna be called I spell. What are you talking about? It's gonna be called noob spell. All right. Uh, okay. We're using the spell called Noob. Again, this is just an easy name for me. 
at maximum tier. And yeah, you're gonna. Whoops. Uh. I spell. Uh, what is it called? I forget what it's called. A uh, noob spell. And, well, these are also going to need to be edited. So, might as well do this. So, alright. 12, uh, noob. This is the description, so... You are a noob. Mana cost zero. Requires nothing. Cost zero gold. Alright, so yeah, this is the requirement. This is cost text. Uh, oh geez. This looks like a lot. Yeah, you're going to have to do all this just to make a spell. I guess you, if you know how, you can make this more efficient, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to do that. Mouse over... So I need to make this mouse over noob. Not noob 3, just noob, simply. Uh, oh, jeez, I need to be faster. Moved. Mouse move. For some reason, when I do repetitive tasks like this, it just makes me so anxious. Like, I have no idea why I get really impatient doing this stuff. Uh, I don't know. That's why I usually like typing things out, even if it's inefficient. But that's not about me, is it? Uh, I'm getting off topic. Anyways, mouse leave. I need to replace all this stuff. So, mouse, button one, click. And fun fact, I actually kind of use this to learn scripting altogether. Like, this is a good kit if you want to learn. Uh, okay. So, there we have it. We have it done. Well, I think mostly done. Oh my god. We st okay. Fine. Let's, let's continue this, because why not? Uh... I didn't go over this in the last version, so last tutorial, so this is good. So noob spell. I swear, if they freaking update this as soon as I finish, as soon as this gets uploaded and this gets updated, that would like a major update. That would be, I mean, cool major update, but that would really suck, and this all wouldn't, this all would have been worth nothing. Okay, so if, okay, how am I going to? Ice. Alright, so, let's do this. Noob. Oh, you don't have to do this part, I just did that to be more organized. Even though I'm, you, well, sometimes organized. Anyways, uh... Place this all with noob spell. Make sure not to misspell anything. That that usually causes problems. Like, well, always, but you know. Uh. Actually, I think. Oh God. All right, I have to be very careful. I have to meet my mic soon. If anybody comes in. If I get called, we fuck it. I really hate that, especially if I missed it and I'd have to go all the way. I'd have to go all the way back and edit that out. That would really fucking piss me off. And yeah, I probably should have done a swear warning, but I don't think. I think that 
most of the people who would be too young to, to, to you know, view this would probably be too young to actually have the patience to, to watch this for almost two hours. So, you know, kind of being fair, I guess, sort of. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, and besides, nobody really cares anymore. I mean, if you've seen it everywhere, like, eight-year-olds swear on the internet, nobody cares. Let's just, let's all be honest here. People have gotten so light about it. Personally, I'm I'm not going to lie, I, I do too. So, I'm literally not going to do any edits. It's just, it's going to be the same as the chill spell. I'm that lazy. Yeah. So, this is probably going to take at least, at least three tries to get it to work. I'm going to be surprised if I get it to work this time. Wait, this this seriously worked. I'm not joking. This actually worked on first try. I'm really I'm really proud of myself. Uh yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that literally worked in first try cuz most times that I make like a stupid mistake, it takes me 10 minutes to find it. I try really stupid things to fix it. And so yeah. Uh I got to make sure that all right, I think we have most of the tutorial done. Let's see what else we need to do. Actually, a uh, potion shop? No, we don't. We don't need to make a new shop. Oh shit! Someone. Okay, we don't need to make a new shop. Uh, we have that done. Game properties. All right, we have game properties entirely done. Upgraded. A little door entirely done. Shops and items entirely done. All we need to do is the UI, and we're going to be complete. Uh, you can add your own... Alright, so the HUD. These basically have all the images. You can create your own, you know, duplicate this, move this to... Yeah. And you can make it do your own stuff. I'm not going to be creating anything there. Uh, you can be changing... You can change the script to make it the different button types. Enemy info, you can change this, and this is basically what's going to pop up if you, um, if you, <laughs> why I even make that sound? Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is the UI that'll pop up when the enemy comes. You can change this however you want. Uh, just don't remove the core stuff. Delete save. Basically what happens when you click delete save. Um, god, I'm very paranoid right now. Don't want anybody to come in. Uh, and yeah, this is the version button, so you can change this to version 2.0.0, version, oh, damn it, version 0.0.0, .0. there we go, 0. .0. alright, that sounded really weird, what the hell did I just do, uh, version 0. .0, .0. yeah, so this is gonna be the title, basically, uh, uh, so yeah, that that basically is just how you edit the version UI. Uh, you don't you don't really have to do this. A lot of people actually don't change this, which I don't know why they don't. This is actually very useful. It tells people like what version and stuff. Should be pretty self-explanatory how you change it. Uh, and yeah, I mean we've pretty much gone over everything actually. If you guys don't know how to do something, either go back or write a comment. Uh, if it takes me a few months to reply. I'm sorry about that. I'm really stupid and lazy. And I do nothing all day. I'm actually surprised I even got around to making this. It's cool. I'm proud of myself. Not really. Should have done this a lot earlier. Um, you can change this stuff if you want. Background for the character. The actual character image. Character name. Gold box. Yeah. A lot of this stuff. Uh, I'm personally, I'm not going to bother with changing some things just because I've went over so many examples that most of the stuff should be changeable by yourself. So I'm actually going to end the video, finally. never thought I'd be saying that. It's been freaking almost two hours. Thank you all for watching.